All right, we have a study here that basically is checking to see if the color of a motorcycle helmet, okay, so we're testing the claims that the injuries are independent of helmet color. So in other words, we want to test injuries and helmet color are independent versus no, we think there's something to do with the actual color that they are dependent. So you can go through this long and drawn out, um, you know, creating, creating your chi-square table for independence where you get the observed minus the expected and all that. Or there's an easier way in StatCrunch. So I open this data in StatCrunch. La, la, la. And there's my data. And from here, I go to Stat. And I want to go to Tables. This is a contingency tape. Hello. This is a contingency table. Get my tables back. And this is with summary, because I don't have all the data. I just have it summarized. And now I select my colors. What I have to do is I have to hold control down. And the first time I did this, I got it wrong because I forgot to scroll down. Ah, there's another color. And then my row labels are variable one. You can kind of see that there. Those are the rows. And just to be sure down here that you're doing a chi-square test for independence. I hit compute, and this automatically gives me both a test statistic of 12.151, 12.151, and it also gives me the p-value, which they didn't ask for, but I can already see, it says test 0.01. I can already see that the p-value is a little bit bigger than 0 0.01. But what they want you to do is they want you to test it against the critical value. So to find the critical value, you look in the chi-score table. To get the degrees of freedom, you take the number of rows minus 1 times the number of columns minus 1. So there's two rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five columns. So 2 minus 1, 1, 4, I'm sorry, 5 minus 1, 4, 1 times 4, 4. So that's my degrees of freedom. It says at a 0 0.01, so I'm going to go over here and look 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like 13.277, 13.277. Which matched, that's why I showed you the p value, matched our p value was a little bit bigger. Okay, so this test statistic is not greater than the critical value, so we are definitely going to fail to reject the null. Okay, so in other words, let's go back and look at our null. Injuries in helmet color are independent, so it says there is some is not or is sufficient evidence to support the rejection of the claim that the injuries are independent of helmet color. Okay, so in this case, we cannot reject that claim that the injuries are independent because our test statistic did not fall within the critical region.